Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Jess and I am a chiropractor out of Chiro for Moms and I'm here with Jenica and she is a nurse practitioner that runs her own business. And so Jenica, why don't you tell us who you are, how you got into your role and what your business is all about? Yeah, I'm Jenica Tomaszek and I've been a nurse practitioner since 2010. So it's been about 14 years and I currently have a practice focusing on perimenopause and menopause. It's my passion. I absolutely love it. Um, I love working alongside women to help them feel their best. Um, and yeah, that's, that's my practice in a nutshell. Um, and I really kind of stumbled upon it because of my own, um, journey. And, you know, that's how a lot of us medical practitioners get into our niche is, um, experiencing something of our own. Um, so I had, um, a, you know, a similar perimenopausal journey, but in a, the postpartum stage. So I learned postpartum hormones are exactly the same as menopause. And I struggled so bad. So after going through that journey for about a year and a half, trying to figure it out and realizing this is the same as perimenopause, I thought I need to help women. So that's, that's why I started my business to, to um, really create some access for, for women to get the help that they deserve. And I absolutely love it. Amazing. Do you primarily, do you have an office location or do you primarily do everything at home or how does your yeah. daily routine, how does someone see you? <laughs> yeah, I'm a hundred percent virtual, which, you know, is really nice for both me and the patients because you can quick meet with me and then get back to work or get back to the kids. Absolutely. And so when you're doing um, the hormone testing and everything like that, do you do just send people out for the lab work and then they bring those labs back and then you recommend certain uh, protocols or things from there? Yeah. So a workup can really range. You know, sometimes I don't even do any labs. If, if this is so classic for certain perimenopause symptoms, we can treat without testing. But usually I do end up testing and it can be, I can send labs through your insurance or I work with a really cheap insurance or a lab company where they direct you on where to go. And it's so seamless and easy. Um, so there's multiple options. Oh, that's awesome. That seems so like uniform and like how people can just access this information, like simply almost. Right. Yeah. Yep. It is. It's very simple. Awesome. Um, what are some of like the biggest symptoms that you find that people are coming to you for? Like what would be like characteristic perimenopause, menopause, and what are kind of like the abnormal ones that you also get seen or see you? Yeah. So the perimenopausal symptoms there, the list is like a hundred long, but I definitely have um, common symptoms that I see that would be sleep changes, you know, insomnia, mood changes, a little bit more depression or anxiety that is new to you that you've never experienced before, um, changes in your period, you know, having more PMS symptoms, um, brain fog, word finding difficulty, kind of those cognitive changes that can be pretty alarming for some women. Um, and I see a lot of women are getting the million dollar workup, like with neurology and conventional medicine for these cognitive changes that are very, very common. Um, and a lot of times it's just working on optimizing the hormones. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, there's, there's so many symptoms. Like even you ask, like, what are some weird ones? Like itchy ears, like that's a common one. Um, or really itchy, like crawly skin that can be a sign of, um, lower hormones. So wow. the symptoms are, there's so many, there's so many. So when in doubt, if you're a woman, just go get them tested just because sometimes it can just be as simple as, or not simple hormones are always so complicated, but like it can right. be just reassuring to know that you're not losing your mind or anything like that type of thing. Correct. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Finding someone who is really, um, up to date on the teachings of this kind of midlife stage, um, is so important, like late thirties, forties, and fifties. If you have new weird symptoms starting, you need to work with someone who understands menopause. Absolutely. Do you find that these are kind of like the same symptoms that you see postpartum as well? 
Yes. Yes. Very much. So the, yeah, the postpartum stage is, of course it, it just rocks your world because you have a new baby, but these hormonal changes are, they're hard. <laughs> they're really hard. I've been through it three times. So, and I know, um, and you know, a lot of the things that we do for perimenopause can be done in that postpartum stage. Mm -hmm. And I do have a special place in my heart for the, for those postpartum moms, um, because there's a lot of things that, that I can do to help you in that journey to really help you thrive. You know, of course it, it it's a roller coaster, but there's things that we can do to make you feel better in that stage. So even if you're not in your thirties, but you're experiencing symptoms, I can definitely help in that post postpartum stage. Oh, I love that. Is there any thing that you, how do you typically like educate an individual on whether or not these symptoms are common, but not normal type of thing? Like how does those discussions typically come up? Yeah. So I often say that menopause, it's not an option, but suffering is, mm -hmm. you know, we, we're all, all of us women are going to go through menopause and, you know, it depends on like what your goals are for this stage of life in, and all of my patients' goals vary you know, some of them, they're okay with a brain fog, but they just want the weight loss or they want to get rid of their PMS and they don't care if they're gaining weight. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, just, uh, making the plan individualized and saying the symptoms that are uncomfortable to you are likely something that we can improve. Oh, amazing. Is there any particular like test out there that you gravitate more towards before going down like a Dutch cycle or like a more extensive test? Like what, what is your kind of like timeline on like starting here and then we'll progress if we need to. Yeah. I often just start with blood draws. Um, just looking at the basic hormones, thyroid, usually some nutrients as well. Um, and a big majority of my patients also get gut testing oh, because yeah gut health plays a huge role in hormones and how you feel. So that's a, a big one too. So I do also love that, that gut health realm yeah. because it is just so intimately connected with the hormones. Oh, that's amazing. And when an individual does come see you, is it pretty, um, do you recommend like herbal remedies or any sort of like just this tea will help with a lot of different things going on, like more natural based type of things, or do we go more towards like the medicinal route or like not medicinal, but like medicine route type of thing? Yeah. Great question. I have some women who really want to focus on just herbs, which I'm happy to do, but pretty much most of my women do end up on hormones on those prescription hormones, okay. uh, because there's such great evidence that it does prevent, um, long-term effects like heart disease, dementia. So, and it's truly the root cause is, um, needing those, uh, those hormones. So we can help with the herbs, but a lot of times that hormone replacement therapy is the ticket. Absolutely. And then with, so I have heard through the red vine that there is lots of like estrogen dominant things out there. So do you recommend like home a little bit of home changes as well, like reduce your scented candles, reduce scented um, laundry detergents and like those types of things as well. Yeah. Toxins in the environment do play a huge role in, in hormones and in inflammation and just your overall health. So yeah, that's definitely something that I, I talk to my patients about, but you know, I'm, I'm so realistic with life and, you know, busy moms it, it's hard to make these changes. So, you know, I say, let's just take it step by step. If there's just one thing that you can change, like, yeah, just changing your laundry detergent. Great. We'll just start there. So Absolutely. Yeah. or like, yeah, use up your old stuff, but then next time you need to buy something, then let's go this other alternative. I know that's what I'm trying to do in my own house is like, use up what I already have. And then we'll make yeah. changes as we go type of thing. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Oh, I love that. So when an individual books with you, what is your typical like protocol? What does an appointment look like with you? Yeah. Yep. So booking an appointment is really easy that you can just you know, go on my website and request an appointment. And then I send you an email that um, has a link to fill out um, some forms so I can kind of get an idea of your health history. Um, and then we just go through 
what your main goals are. And so I start with an hour long visit, but it always goes longer than an hour. Um, and yeah, just individualize the care. Okay. And is there, do you have like a specific, like, I want to see you back three times or see touch base as we go along with this journey or like, how does the subsequent appointments look like for you? Yeah, I I do make that very individualized as well. I don't have an exact program because I find yeah. that everyone is so different. Yeah. Um, but oftentimes, like just in the beginning, it's about um, every six weeks follow up. Um, at least for a few months, and then we can really stretch it out once we find the right cocktail for you. Awesome. I love that. That makes it life so simple so that they can just pop in whenever they're seeing fit and everything like that and just kind of touch base when they need to. Exactly. Oh, I love that. Jenica, what is your website? How do people find you? Yes, I am at superiorintegrativemedicine.com, named after Lake Superior since I grew up near the Great Lake. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how you can find me. You can email me. Um, my, uh, my email is on the website, um, or you can schedule an appointment. Perfect. Thank you so much, Jenica. Um, I appreciate you, uh, being here today with us and uh, chatting all about women's health. <laughs> oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me.